Welcome back everyone tracking the tropics here. The five o'clock advisory from the National Hurricane Center. Uh, Hurricane Lee packing sustained winds of 150 miles per hour gust to 185 central pressure at 942 and uh, movement is to the west northwest at 13 miles per hour. What we're going to see here over the next couple of days is a slowing in the forward motion of that storm system. In fact, uh, here we go tracking Lee. You can see the cone of uncertainty maintaining category four strength taking you right through Monday. Winds are going to fluctuate and eventually weakening, but still remember category three is still a major hurricane. So weakening from a five to a four is really irrelevant. Where do we go from here? Well, the computer models, as you can see, take it west and then turn it to the north. And this still remains highly uncertain because we're talking about that slowing of the forward speed. So a map like this, I'm talking about something late next week, Friday, Saturday timeframe, so a week away. And think about how often the forecast can change over the course of a week. But this is concerning, and that's exactly what we've got, is this area of concern that does include New England, uh, Canadian Maritimes, up through Nova Scotia and Cape Breton. Computer models are focusing in on that, but it wouldn't change, it wouldn't take much to either shift it to the east and be less of an impact, or to the west and be more of an impact. So for now, we just continue to wait and watch. John, Connor? We sure do. And speaking of hurricanes, this one is interesting here. When Hurricane Adelia hit Florida last week, it reportedly flung flamingos as far north as